Hello, and welcome to this tutorial series for Win Automation. This video will show you how to automate tasks by building your first Win Automation process. It will cover the basics of building processes by automating a simple task first before you can start automating complex ones. In the example that follows, we will automate a task requiring to rename all photos located within a specific folder by appending their creation date to the file name. This can be useful for archiving and sorting photos according to the date photos are actually taken. To start, select Create New Process and name it, in this case, Rename Photos. As the process designer opens, on the left you can see a variety of the actions that can be used to create a process to help automate any task you want. These are actions associated with file and folder management, UI Windows related, web related, FTP actions, database actions, Excel automation actions, and many more. All actions, when being configured, open the Properties window for that specific action, which by default opens with the General tab. In the General tab, you can configure the action's main settings. The General tab is divided into two main areas, Input parameters in the top area of the window, and Output parameters in the bottom area. Some actions have both input and output parameters. For example, the Read Text from File action requires a file path to be specified in the input parameters, which will point to the file that is to be accessed. The content read from this specified file becomes the output of the action. Certain other actions, like the Wait action, have no output to configure, but only input. You will also find actions that only provide output and do not require any input, such as the get last exception action. And there are even actions that do not require any input parameters, nor do they provide any output parameters, like the empty recycle bin action. In each input or output field, you can hover over the information icon to see what should be populated in that particular field. Back to the rename photos example, the first step is to specify the files that you want to rename. To do so, use the Get Files in Folder action by dragging and dropping the selected action into your workspace. In the Actions Properties dialog window that appears, under Action Input and Folder, enter the file path to the folder that contains the photos we want to rename. In case there are different types of files in that folder, specify that you only want JPEG files. Note the retrieved files will be stored into a variable named percent %files%. Percent. Click on OK to save the configuration for the Get Files in Folder action. Next, look for the Rename Files action from the list on the left, and place it into our workspace via drag and drop. In this action, first you need to specify the files to be renamed. This is where the variable that was created before, %files% percent %% will be used as it contains the list of files retrieved with the previous action. We can either type in the variable name, or click on the gear icon and select it from the list. The Rename Scheme option provides lots of options when it comes to renaming a file. In this example, it is best to use the Add Date or Time Scheme available from the drop-down list. In this case, add each file's creation date before the name of the file. This way the photos can be sorted according to date. You can then choose to separate the date from the original file name by a dash. You can always check the example to preview the file's name after it has been renamed. Last, choose the date format you want, and click OK. Save and close the process, and click the Run button in the Win Automation console. This very simple task will save you a great deal of time since you will no longer have to manually check for the creation date of each photo in order to rename it accordingly. Check out the rest of our tutorials to find out more about Win Automation. Thank you for watching.